Okay, boys and girls, let's make some money for this weekend. College football second half begins. Start with Oregon and California. Oregon laying 13 and a half. Cal has been an awful football team this season. Uh, Oregon's been good at home. They usually are good at home. I'm taking Oregon laying nearly two touchdowns there. Um, I also like the over on that. 54 seems a little bit low for me, although Cal might not score a lot. San Diego State at San Jose State. Potential trap game here. San Diego State favored by nine and a half in the top 25 undefeated. I'm going to take San Jose State to cover. I don't think they're going to win. I think Nick Starkle and those guys are going to win the football game, but I think this is a touchdown game. Uh, so take the San Jose State uh, in, in nine and a half line. Moving to Saturday, Cincinnati, UCF. Is this a trap game? Not really. It's at home. 21 and a half. Line's high, but after the drubbing they put on Temple and the way this team has to impress the committee, I'm going to go with them to cover. 21 and a half over UCF. Uh, take Cincinnati. They're a pretty good bet here. Michigan State, Indiana. Michigan State favored by four and a half on the road at Indiana. Uh, I don't want to bet against Michigan State. They're 6-0. and oh. They keep running the football effectively. Peyton Thorne is a tremendous quarterback. But I have to feel that there's going to be a letdown game sometime soon. Is it going to be in Bloomington? Take Indiana, getting the four and a half at home. I'm not saying they're going to win outright, but I think it's going to be a closer uh, game. Uh, Michigan State's got to have a close game, right? Oklahoma State and Texas, very interesting game here. Over-under is 60. Should be a shootout. I would take the over for sure. Um, and Oklahoma State is getting four points on the road against Texas. A lot of people impressed with Texas's performance against Oklahoma. Oklahoma State's kind of doing it smoke and mirrors. I like Texas. I think they're going to roll in this game and win by double digits. Auburn and Arkansas. Arkansas favored by four and a half. Auburn eh, can't figure them out. So I, I like Arkansas. I like the offense. Uh, they're at home. Lay the four and a half and they should cover against Auburn. Florida LSU. LSU is decimated with injuries. Kind of sounds like last year a little bit, right? In the swamp. And they're at home. They're a dangerous home team, but they're missing Keishon Boutte. They're missing Derek Stingley. They're missing Elias Ricks. They're missing Ali Gay. Um, I, I just don't know what to do with this LSU football team. This is a really difficult one. Will they lose by two touchdowns at home? I mean, I'm going to take LSU to cover that 11 and a half just because it's in Death Valley, but I really don't know on this one. I'm taking LSU. Texas A&M and Missouri. Missouri has been awful, awful. Just give up a billion points. Texas A&M coming off that huge victory. They're favored by eight and a, eight and a half at Texas A&M. Usually I, I always have the letdown factor, but this one I'm not going to. I think Texas A&M covers this and wins pretty handily. Uh, so take the, you know, give the eight and a half to Missouri. They're just not looking like a good football team. Kentucky and Georgia, 21 and a half. Take Kentucky here to cover, not to win. That over-under is 44 and a half. I would take the over on that. Um, I do think it's going to be sort of a grind it out, pound it football game. Um, so the over is a little iffy, but I, I also think Kentucky can stay within 10 points at least through three quarters here and hang on to cover that 21 and a half. They have a chance to win outright crazy as it sounds if, if they don't turn the ball over, but 21 and a half seems very high, which would normally lead me to say, take Georgia. Somebody knows something, but I like Kentucky to cover three touchdowns in the hook. Purdue and Iowa, Iowa, 11 and a half point favorites. Take Iowa. Purdue's not a good football team. Iowa's at home. They are number two. They will not feel the pressure in this particular game. They will cover BYU Baylor Baylor favored by six at home against BYU. Very interesting game. Baylor's five and one. They can run the ball. They can throw the ball. BYU coming off a bad loss, uh, but Baylor laying six at home against a ranked team. I don't know. I, I take BYU. I mean, I think they can win the game outright. So take the six points as a bonus. Alabama, Mississippi state, Alabama by 17, take Alabama to cover. They're going to be angry. They're going to destroy Mississippi State, uh, probably by 30, 40 points. TCU, Oklahoma. Oklahoma favored by 13 and a half. Uh, this is interesting. Who's going to start a quarterback? It sounds like Caleb Williams. 
Um, TCU is an erratic football team, but Gary Patterson's a great coach. Can they keep this close? Um, I think there's some turmoil at Oklahoma right now. <clears throat> I think they're going to win the football game, but I'd take TCU to cover that 13 and a half. Old Miss, Tennessee, the over-under is 83, and I would take the over, believe it or not. Both defenses are horrible. Both offenses are great. Um, I like Old Miss to cover that two and a half point line on the road. I think they win by 10. NC State, Boston College, NC State favored by three up at Boston College. Interesting line here. I think it's an appropriate one. This should be a close game. Um, you know, NC State giving points on the road. That's a little iffy to me, but but BC does not have, of course, Phil Djurkovic and, and their quarterback. I think BC is going to run the ball and 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 possibly win this football game. So take BC getting the three. Arizona State and Utah, last one I'm doing. Even, Steven. At Utah, Arizona State, five and one. They are due for a trip up. Give me Utah with the even line. I think they went out right. There you have it. Lots of money to be made. Go out and make it.